This past year, uh, we lost Lori Ware Sr., the first FBS officer we've lost in two decades. Officer Ware uh, contracted uh, the COVID-19 virus. He served in FBS for 18 years, served before then in the United States Air Force and as a member of the Capitol Police in California. His service is emblematic and his loss is a powerful reminder of uh, the sacrifice and risk that each and every member of the Federal Protective Service makes each day of every year. I'm incredibly grateful to all of you for making that sacrifice, for taking that risk, and for the service that you provide to our communities, to our department, and to our nation. It is because of you that we are safe, secure, and strong. This week is a week of remembrance and a week of mourning. It is a powerful week that exemplifies uh, the courage and nobility of what you do and the risk you take in doing it. Thank you for everything you do. I'm humbled to join you today alongside FPS Director Eric Patterson and Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas at the close of National Police Week in observance of a solemn tribute to those law enforcement officers of the Federal Protective Service who passed in the line of duty in service of others. I want to express gratitude and appreciation for our law enforcement community while also paying my respects to those extraordinary officers who lost their lives. The FPS mission is protect the homeland and enable the continuity of the federal government's work is more critical today than ever. What is asked of you is no small feat to protect almost 9,000 federal facilities in every state and U.S. territory while ensuring that fellow Americans can safely exercise their First Amendment rights near those facilities. Nevertheless, you do this with excellence and dedication. Thanks to FPS, federal government employees enter their offices knowing they are safe and protected. Last year alone, FPS stopped more than 200,000 prohibited items from entering the workplace and performed more than 26,000 canine sweeps to search for explosive materials. In addition to their regular duties, FPS also provides crucial support to many other DHS operational priorities, such as Operation Allies Welcome to help receive Afghan refugees. It is comforting for the Secretary and I to know that no matter what challenges arise, we can count on our FPS professionals to answer the call. We know that FPS responsibilities do not come without risks. Those who wear the FPS uniform protect our country and face life-threatening situations. Their efforts to safeguard our nation by protecting the very institutions where our government functions are invaluable to protecting our democracy. These efforts bear the scars of sacrifice. In its short but remarkable history, FPS has lost seven law enforcement officers in the line of duty. Remember Inspector Lowry Ware Sr., who died last year and embodied the very honor, selflessness, and bravery displayed daily by FPS officers to keep our government facilities and communities safe. Today and every day, let us remember and imitate the courage of the brave FPS inspectors and all law enforcement officers who paid the supreme price for protecting the American people, the homeland, and our values. I thank their families, friends, loved ones, and colleagues for allowing me to share in this moment to honor them. Thank you. Good morning. Secretary Mayorkas, Deputy Undersecretary Alice, and everyone joining us virtually, welcome to the 2021 FPS wreath laying ceremony. This ceremony is held annually to remember those FPS officers who made the ultimate sacrifice in the performance of their duties to protect our country. Thank you for participating in this sacred event. During this year's National Police Week, we honor those who gave all while serving their country and communities. Unfortunately, the number of police officers killed while on duty was one of the highest on record last year. Nearly 300 federal, state, military, tribal, and local law enforcement officers died in the line of duty in 2020. A toll not seen in decades. So far, 2021 has proven to be even more challenging, with officer line of duty deaths on pace to exceed last year. It's a reminder that all law enforcement officers, whether at FPS or a local police department, put their lives on the line every day to protect their fellow Americans. We remember each of these brave officers, including those at FPS. Tragically, our most recent loss at FPS was Inspector Lowry Ware, Sr., 
whose end of watch was July 23rd, 2020. He will now be forever remembered on the National Law Enforcement Memorial Wall, where his name was added last December, joining fellow FPS officers. Many in our workforce personally knew Inspector Ware. Having worked or trained alongside him, his dedication and professionalism served as an inspiration to so many people. And his tragic death in the line of duty serves as a stark reminder to the risk of our law enforcement officers take every day. I could not have had greater admiration for our FPS employees, especially those wearing badges and serving on the front lines. They risk life and limb to ensure the safety of the millions of federal employees and those others who visit FPS protected federal properties in all 50 states and U.S. territories. Their dedication, professionalism, and courage inspire me every day to commemorate National Police Week and all law enforcement officers who have lost their lives protecting others. I want to thank and acknowledge all they have sacrificed and commemorate their lives in service to a grateful nation. On behalf of the FPS leadership, I want you to know we value our workforce as a foundation of FPS. You are all integral to fulfilling our mission. We ask you to join us together as one FPS family as we participate in the solemn wreath laying ceremony. Thank you. Tim and all units, stand by for a broadcast. This is the last call for FPS fallen officers. Mega Center calling Officer John L. Shodowski. No answer, Officer Shodowski. Mega Center calling Officer Robert Lee Timberlake, Jr. No answer, Officer Timberlake. Mega Center calling Officer Vincent Ramos LeBron. No answer, Officer Ramos LeBron. Mega Center calling Officer Robert W. Deskovitz. 
no answer. Officer Yeskovitz. Mega Center calling Officer Michael Doyle. No answer. Officer Doyle. Mega Center calling Officer Ronald Sheffield. No answer. Officer Sheffield. Mega Center calling Officer Lowry Ware Sr. No answer, Officer Ware, Sr. Officer Shadovsky, out of service, Monday, May 16th, 1977, New York, gone but not forgotten. Officer Timberlake, out of service, Wednesday, January 24th, 1979, Florida, gone but not forgotten. Officer Ramos LeBron, out of service, Friday, April 30th, 1982, Puerto Rico, gone but not forgotten. Officer Yeskovitz, out of service, Tuesday, July 20th, 1982, Massachusetts, gone but not forgotten. Officer Doyle, out of service, Friday, August 13th, 1982, California, gone but not forgotten. Officer Sheffield, out of service, Friday, September 21st, 2001, Michigan, gone but not forgotten. Officer Ware Sr., out of service, Thursday, July 23rd, 2020, New Jersey, gone but not forgotten. This concludes the roll call for SDS fallen officers. No response needed.